Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about all the books that I bought for the month of August, which is always super exciting because I never notice how much I buy until I go and I make these videos and I'm like, yeah, well, I went a little overboard as is every month, but um, let's just get right into the books that I bought. So I did a lot, a lot of shopping at Half Price Books and so... A lot of these books are for half, are from Half Price Books. Um, I normally start with my book of the month, but for the month of August, I skipped my book of the month because it was just nothing that called out to me. Um, and so I just skipped it. I would rather just take those $15 and spend them at um, Half Price Books. I think that I'm a little bit crooked. My camera looks a little crooked. If I'm crooked or lopsided, please forgive me. Let's get into it. So the first book that I picked up at Half Price Books was uh, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about how this is very similar or it's like Harry Potter-esque um, in the sense of there's a choice in one, a ch choice in one, there's a chosen one, there is, um, magic and a school and all of that so very excited to read that one the next book that i bought sorry i haven't taken off some of the stickers some of them i have but some i haven't so please forgive me but the next one that i pick up picked up was the diviners and i wasn't really planning on picking this book up but i just saw this edition and it's just so beautiful it's so like stocky and short and it was only $4.99 and it is brand new they had like a stack of these so I really liked this edition so I just picked it up hopefully I can pick up I think this is the UK um it says UK the UK price so I think it's a UK cover but it is just so beautiful look at that spine oh I love it and you guys know that I love blue especially blue books the next set of books is a uh, series and I got the first three in the series. If I'm not mistaken, there's either five or six books in this series, but I picked up these three because they were like all the same edition and um, I really, really liked them and they were like cheap, you know, half price books. But um, the series I'm talking about is the Dark Tower season, <laughs> season series by Stephen King. And so I bought the first one, which is The, Guns the Gun Slinger. Then I got uh, the second one, which is The Drawing of the Three. Then I picked up the third book, which is The Wastelands. And so I'm really excited to start on these. Um, there's a girl in, on, in Insta on Instagram that is going to do a read along for that. And I think it's in January. So I'll be reading those in January. Uh, these next two books I bought, I think it's part of a trilogy, but they had these two there. And... Um, one of the girls that I follow on Instagram, she raves about this uh, trilogy. And so they had the first two books there and I was like super excited because I kept looking for these there because she highly recommends them. And I just, I've never seen them when I've gone to have price books, but they had the first two books and the trilogy is the first law trilogy by Joe Aber Abercrombie. And the first book is The Blade itself. Now, I think this is a high fantasy um, book, but don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, it's a fantasy. And so the first one is The First Blade and the second one is Before They Are Hanged. And these editions, oh my God, they're so like velvety soft. I mean, it's, um, it's a paperback, but it's so velvety soft. I love the cover on these. So I'm excited to get into these. I don't know when I'll be able to do it because I have so many books and so many read-alongs um, coming up. So. so then I made another trip to Half Price Books because why not, you know? Another week, another trip to Half Price Books. And I found a couple of goodies. This one that I found, I am super excited about. I'm actually trying to find the first book in hardcover because then I would have all three in hardcover. But I kept looking for this particular book and they never had it and somebody sold their copy finally. And so that is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and uh, Jay Kristoff. And I loved Illuminae. I'm hoping to read Gemini this month uh, in September. And so looking forward to this one, I just wanted to have it ready for when I finish the second book. Uh, the next one that I bought is a horror book and it is Haven by Tom Deddy. I think it's Deddy, 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 Deddy. 
And um, this is a horror book. This was really a cover buy. Um, initially the cover just got to me. It's like that velvety feel as well. And the synopsis was pretty good. It has to do with some child killings, it's getting put a, somebody getting um, framed for these deaths, but he swears it's not him. And so he goes to jail for a really long time. And then when he gets out, the killings start happening again. So very interested to read that one. Hopefully in the month of October, I can get to that one because it is horror, like I said. And the next one, it is another horror book. This one is Thin Air by Michelle Paver and it is all like ghost stories. So I'm imagining that these are all like short stories or not, maybe not. Oh no, no, it's just a ghost story. So this is another horror book. Um, don't know anything about this. I've never read any books by her, so excited to read that one, of course. Next book I picked up on this trip, I'm super excited about, um, and that is the, the Lord of the Rings. Now this is a bind up, like a, uh, it has all the books in here, and I normally don't tend to like books that have, or yeah, books that contain a whole series in them. I like to have like each individual book, but this one was so beautiful that I just had to get it. And look at the back. Oh my gosh, it is just such a stunning book. It's a chunker because like I said, it contains all books in here, but I am hoping to get into The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings uh, for the fall. So I already have my book scheduled for the first day of fall. Yes, guys. I'm ridiculous like that like that's just I'm like I'm a very seasonal person so like I like wearing like nail polish that goes with the seasons and I like wearing you know my hair the color of the season you know what I mean and so I like I'm, I'm like a seasonal reader as well and so for last year um, what got me looking forward to the fall because like you guys know I'm a summer girl but what got me looking forward to the fall was that I had planned to read Harry Potter starting the fall of 2018. And so, I mean, I'm sorry, 2017. And so I got, I was looking forward to it so much because I wanted to read Harry Potter. And so this year I decided that the first day of fall, September 22nd, I am going to be picking up The Hobbit and I will be reading uh, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings for this fall season and I'm like so so excited for it and I wasn't gonna read Lord of the Rings but my husband was like you need to just pick it up and check it out because it, he's like he just thinks that I am going to love the series so much sorry one more book uh, this is the last book that I picked up at half price books and I have you can't see it but up there I have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows in the boxed set um not set but in the boxed edition that um that i found at half price books as well with a jk rowling signature on top and this time around i found harry potter and the order of the phoenix signed up here by jk rowling and then it has the book inside but look how beautiful this cover it's just so stunning and so Hopefully one day I'll have all of these. I could collect all of them. If not, then I just have, um, I forgot what number this is. Um, so I have year five and year seven. So it's not necessarily that I am collecting these per se. I guess now I am, but if I run into it, then I just pick it up. And so I'm so excited for that one because it's all blue and this, that spine is just so beautiful. And so those were all my trips to half price books. Then um, another two books I picked up, I was like in a, like a siren mermaid, like killer siren, killer mermaid kind of mood, not like the lovey dubby Disney ones. Um, and so I came across uh, Myra Grant's little series of, of mermaids and so the first book I got it as an ebook so I'll put the picture right here is Rolling in the Deep um, which is a prequel to the next book I will be talking about I already read that it's like a really really short uh, I think it's like I don't even remember how many pages it is but I remember reading it in one sitting on my ebook and for me to read a book on my on my e-reader that's tough. Like, I don't like ebooks, but this was so worth it. The book is actually out of print, so I'm hoping one day I can run into a copy because I fell in love with that book so hard. It was so, so, so good. 
So of course, after finish rolling, after finishing rolling in the deep, I just immediately ordered this off of Amazon, and it's Into the Drowning Deep by Myra Grant. Um, this, these two books are so so good. If you guys haven't read it and you like like gory, gory mermaid, it's not like super gory. I don't want you guys to think that it's like blood and guts all over the place. Um, but it is pretty gory for what it is. Um, but this series is so, so, so good. Like I said, I'm hoping to run into a Prince copy of Rolling in the Deep so bad because I just love it and these covers are amazing. I'm about 100 pages into this one, loving it so, so much. And then Barnes & Noble just decided to have their first 50% off sale. And so I grabbed my purse and I ran to Barnes & Noble and I'm actually going again after I finish... Um, filming this but because I'm planning a, a giveaway on my Instagram for my birthday so I'm gonna pick up a couple books but what I picked up at Barnes & Noble I'm very excited about um, and they were all on sale except one of them um, the first book I picked up off of their 50% sale is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young um, I'm so surprised that this was in the 50% off sale because it released recently, like a few months ago, and I've been wanting to get my hands on it, but there was just some other books that I wanted to pick up first. Um, but I just took advantage of the sale and picked this baby up, and I mean, that cover and that girl on that cover is just so beautiful. Next book, again, another book I wasn't gonna pick up, but when I read the synopsis there at Barnes & Noble, it just intrigued me so much, and I know I've heard so many people talking about this book, how great it is, and so it was 50% off, and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna pick it up because I know I'm gonna wanna read it one day, and that is Strange the Dreamer. I know that either the second book recently came out or the third book, one of the books recently came out. And so I thought I'd just give it a chance for the price, you couldn't beat it. So excited to get into that one um, by Lainey Taylor. I don't know if I said who that was. And then the last book that I bought off the sale, it, this wasn't part of the 50% off sale, but it's part of that bargain hunt area that they have, the huge bargain area. Um, and I've been meaning to pick up this book again. Um, they had it on Book Outlet and at Half Price Books. But every time I went to like grab it, something else caught my eye and I never did. But I finally did because they had it for six bucks at Barnes & Noble. And that is Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. And so I'm excited to read this one. This is a, I believe it's a YA thriller. Um, and I'm all about thrillers all about thrillers and the last book that i bought it's just a book that i've been seeing circulating around instagram the arcs of this book have just been circulating and it did release um a couple days ago and so i decided to buy it because i just couldn't contain myself this cover is beautiful and everybody says how amazing it is so that's why i got it and i'm currently reading it right now it is tear me apart by jt ellison and i love what it says here everyone has a dark side and that is so true and so I'm looking forward to this one so much. I am like 25 pages in. I did start reading it. I put uh, Into the Drowning Deep aside for a little bit so I can read this. Partly because since it's such a new release, I do want to review it for you guys. Um, I've never done a review before, so this will be my first attempt. Uh, this is a thriller. And I mean, look at that cover. If this doesn't scream like amazing thriller to you, I don't know what will. And it's like... It's like a matte book, but then it has like these, I don't know if you can see them, like those shiny areas. Oh, it's so beautifully textured. Um, but yeah, so excited. So that was it, guys. Those are all the books that I bought for the month of August. I cannot believe that August is over. Like today as I'm filming this, it's the 31st of August. And my birthday is in eight days and I will be 37. I feel like I'm so low. And I'll be 37. I cannot believe this. Like... The older you get, the faster time flies. And I've always been told that and I was like, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. But here we are today. Also, I wanted to ask you guys a quest, a question. So last month for, for July, all I did was my July wrap up. Um, and I did film a July book haul, but I never uploaded it. <laughs> it was just, a crazy month and um, I just didn't do a lot of uploading but I do have a July book haul 
do you guys want to see that or should I just scrap the video and forget about it um, I don't know since it's so late and we're already going into September and I'm doing my August book haul I don't know if that's something that you guys want to see um, like a late book haul upload for the month of July but just let me know it's no big deal if not then I could just scrap the video and just keep moving from there anyways I hope you guys liked this video and you enjoyed it please let me know in the comments down below what books you bought for the month of August and if you've read them if you've loved them if you hated them um, and I will see you guys in my next one bye